Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Michelle. In this video, we are going to take a look at what it looks like for members to register for classes. So what you would need to do is first go to your website and find the class registration link and click on it. Once you click on that, your matrix for your group will open up. This is just one example of what a matrix would look like. Many of the groups set up their matrix in different ways. So the first thing you want to do is you want to look at the classes and decide what you want to sign your children up for. When you find a class that you would like to register your children, click on the title of that class. So we're going to click on Animal Habitats, and what that does is it opens up a drop-down box. It has the description of the class, it gives the instructor. If you click on this instructor, it'll open up to her bio page. Some of your groups will put pictures of your teachers in here. It'll show you how many classes they're teaching during your co-op day. And there's also an email link that if you clicked on it, it would take you directly to an email pop-out box and you can email that instructor. So let's go back and see what else we have here. On the right hand side, we have a class deposit plus book supply of $85 and then we have a remaining class fee of $165. Some of our groups will ask you to put some type of deposit down when you register and then the rest of the money will be due at a different time. You'll also notice here that we have a list of your children. So all of your children that are, are in your profile will be listed on the class matrix. And notice here the two asterisks. Those are names of the parents so in this website we have John and Mary and they are the parents. You will only see that if your group enables the ability for parents to sign up as volunteers for classes. If you have that ability and that option you can check yourself off and register to volunteer for a class. If you check off a parent you will not see any kind of fee attached to your name. In the class you can also click on the roster. So if you clicked on the roster, it would open up to another box and it will show you all the students that are registered for that class. Currently, there are no students in this class. So to register your student for the class, you would go ahead, find the child's name, and click on the box next to them. Once you do that, you must click on the register button to register for this class. So go ahead, we're going to click on it and then it's going to tell us that our registration was successful. So now we can say OK. And then when you're ready, go to another class that you want to register a child for, click it open, and again, you could go down, pick the child, check that child off, again hit register, and it will save your registration. So each time you go into a class and you register a student or more, you must click on the register button for the registration to take place. I'm going to go ahead and click on biology and I'm going to register one of my children in there. Again, we're going to click on register and our registration was successful. And we'll register for one more class here. We'll put Cindy in this class and again we'll click on register and our registration was successful. Once you have all of your children in classes that you choose, you can look at your view class registration summary by clicking here. So let's go ahead and do that. Here you can view the registration for all of your children. You can also make sure that they're not in two classes during one hour. You'll notice here for Abigail, she's in Animal Habitats at 9 a.m. and then she's in ABCs of Handling Money God's Way at 10 a.m. So we know we did it right and she's not in two classes at the same time. You'll also notice that at the bottom of the registration page there might be some instructions on payment and this will look different for every group because each group has their own instructions. If you need to remove a student from a class you can click on the remove button if the ability has been enabled for you. Some administrators won't allow you to remove them but they would like you to contact your administrator to remove your student from a class. When you scroll down, you'll see here that it says View Statement of Account to Pay. You can click here or at the very top of your page, 
you can click on balance and it will take you to your statement of account. So we're going to go ahead to the top here and we're going to click on balance. And here we can see that we have our class registration total of $310. But some of your groups may require you to put a deposit down. And you're going to look at this and you're going to say, well, I don't know what my deposit is. So if they set it up correctly and they put in the deposit amount that you need to pay first, I'm going to show you how to find that. So we're going to go back to class registration and then we're going to go to view our class registration summary. While we're here, if we click on the print icon here, once this opens up, you can see for each class what is due immediately. Some of these are full price, but some of these, like this Animal Habitats of $85, is not the full price of the class because I remember when I was in my class summary, if I went down to Animal Habitats, we'll notice here that the actual class fee is $250. But the way the administrator had set this up, it tells us that there's $85 that's due right now. So we can kind of see here that our registration that's due right now is $185. So we can go back up to the top of our website, click on our balance, and we can put this amount in right here. Class registration is a partial payment option, so we could put any amount that we want to pay here. Some groups expect you to pay it all right away and some do not. So once we put the amount in, our Pay Now button will highlight and we can click on Pay Now. This will take us directly to PayPal where we can sign on to our account and pay the amount that we put in there for our class registration. Here we go, class registration payment of $145. Once we submit that payment, it will go directly into the account that the administrators have set up through their PayPal. Once you make a payment, this amount right here will change minusing the amount that you just paid. So every time you make a partial payment, it will be deducted from the total amount that is due to you. Thank you for watching this video. For further assistance, please contact your site administration.